hi guys welcome to let's talk tv if you are new here please do subscribe to the channel we post everything entertainment and spot and we give updates every single day multiple videos so be sure to get updated on everything that is happening on the social space on the spot and on the spotty face with us right so today we're going to be talking about like this is the part two of the video the part one is on our channel so you can just click on our youtube channel i'm going to check for the part one but today we're going to talk about like our stars what's up with our all stars finalist and we're just going to be our main focus is going to be on the finalists which is what the first video but this is a part two of that video so we're going to be starting with our gen z buddy the winner of the bbn all stars Ilebae. so she was in an interview with Ebuka. And he asked whether she had any strategy going into the house. She said she didn't have any strategy and that she felt like she was doing certain things to their housemates that annoyed her or annoyed them, but it was not necessarily her strategy. And she felt another thing like they were looking at her and expecting her to do certain things because she was the youngest and she was not doing all of those things. So that poking the housemates was not her strategy, that she felt like she was misunderstood in the house so when she would do certain things they would just feel like oh my god you're trying to oh my god you're trying to poke me or something but it was just like a case of misunderstanding and Ebuka asked her whether she felt she was strong in the house when she kept sitting down after every, every eviction she said no that she didn't know she was strong that she just thought like I'm probably lucky. Maybe I'm the next person you're supposed to call and they just stop the victim and stuff like that. And that she only felt like she was strong when she won, right? And then she said that white money's eviction shocked her the most and she didn't expect to reach the finals. Ebuka asked her about her friendship with Doing and whether she felt like she betrayed Doing anyway. And this is what she had. Her response to it was that when she came into the house, right? She and Doing, they were not necessarily friends from the outside. They did not speak outside or any other thing. That it was just when she came into the house that she saw Doing and they started speaking. And part of the reason, apart from the fact that they liked each other, and that reason why they gravitated towards each other was because they were from the same season, which is from the level up season. And she also said that Doing and her, because of the fact that they had not been friends for a very long time, though they misunderstood each other, and that doing is more expressive than her. So when issues will come up with doing, right? Um, with Ilebay, first of all, let's do the dynamics of the friendship. When issues will come up with Ilebay, doing would go and meet all of those people and expressively defend her, right? Why Ilebay's way of showing her friendship was by apologizing to people that doing had issues with because of her so she said she was not as expressive as doing which is probably part of where the misunderstanding came from and about cross whatever she had in the house with cross said it was all vibes that she didn't want anything that was going to bring up any feelings for anybody so she, she just wanted to vibe with cross in the house and there was nothing about feelings and all of that and that was exactly what she wanted. And she also did an interview with the big GP. And she felt like she, sh- and she was asked there about um, whether PT game was a strategy. She just said that she felt she was misunderstood by the housemates. And the question that they asked her, which she gave a beautiful, beautiful reply to, was when they asked her whether she felt like people voted for her out of PT. Or whether they voted for her because... They just pitied her and they looked at her as the underdog. She said underdog or not. That she felt like people voted for her because they actually loved her. Not because... And because they had genuine love for her. Not because they felt like she was the underdog. Which was just a beautiful reply. And another situation happened, right? Okay. About before we go to the situation, let's talk about her interview with Ibuka. The closing part. Where she was asked what she intended to do about the 120 million. And she said that, um, and he also asked her what Gen Z um, body empire was about. And she said that she was in no rush to do anything. And Gen Z body empire contains like a lot of things, which is she didn't give any specifics. But she said she just wanted to take her time and plan, set up her team before doing anything with the money. And she has a lot of time on her hands. So I guess she should just do that. Let's just hop on to Cross's interview with Ebuka. So, 
during the course of the interview, I think the first question Ibuka asked him was about CC, and Ibuka asked him why and why whether he wanted to be more than friends with CC or what was just going on there. And Cross said that with CC, he just wanted to be friends and get to know her better, that there was nothing there. And again, that she was somebody that he knew outside of the house. And he also spoke on his friendship with Pere. And he said that when he got into the house, a lot of narratives were going here and there, just flying everywhere. And he just wanted to give like the relationship space and just like respect himself and know what was really happening within the relationship space. He also said that um, he was friends and he was cool with Kim Oprah. He said when Kim Oprah came into the house, he was so happy to see her because she was somebody that he knew outside the house. So they were just building on the friendship. And over time, the friendship um, grew. And it was a situation where she would cook for him when she's going to cook and um, um, eat. And he would cook for her too when he's going to eat. And just like that, they just looked out for each other in the house. And they became like very, very good friends. And whatever they had outside the house grew. The friendship grew more or the relationship became better or grew be- better in the house. And his, um, Erika asked them things he enjoyed. He said he enjoyed basically almost everything. He said he enjoyed the cooking tax, like he loves cooking. And he said he loves cooking, like, yeah, men can cook too. And he said he enjoyed pool parties. Cross from his season of Shine Your Eye to this All Stars is generally a lover of parties. Cross loves parties. And then let's move on. Let's talk about Adekule's interview with Abuka. So Adekule was, he spoke with Abuka. He said that when he came to the house, he wanted to mingle. And he wanted to be bad boy Dex that mingled with women because during his season, he didn't really mingle with women like that. But he met Venita and he called Venita. He said Venita was the, I think he said owner of dragons or just like the mother or the queen of dragons or something like that. And because of her, he didn't really get to do all of that. He spoke on his famous dinner. You know that film dinner that was trending everywhere on Twitter? He talked about, he said that before they went for that dinner they were already having issues and they had not really settled the issues before he went for that dinner hence the entire thing we saw at the dinner where they weren't really talking and the table there was just a lot of tension there and he also said that what attracted him to venita was when he cracked a joke in the house that nobody else got and venita got it and he looked at her and was like oh my god this person she must be intelligent and he likes intelligent people. I think they call it saposexual. He likes intelligent women. That's why he was drawn to Venita. And he said that he had his best moments in the diary room. And he said also that he didn't like his fight with Pere. And he said like the fight, he didn't like the fact that he fought with Pere during the interview because Ibuka asked him about it. And he said he would give the season a 9 over 10. He said he preferred this season to his own season because this season he had a lot of fun com- as compared to his own season. Let's go back to Adekunle and Venita for a bit, right? So Ebuka asked him whether he had been able to have a conversation with Venita about the issues they had in the house and he said that he had not had the chance yet but it was something he was looking forward to doing that means he was still going to have a conversation with venita right so at the ship as any of you here you guys can just chill a bit because by bad boy dex is going to go into action they will probably settle their issues and then Ibuka asked him for his plans outside of the house and he said that he wanted to make films and he wanted to make films about fashion lifestyle he wanted to make films about culture too and if you observed in the house during this all-star season even during his level up season which was not so long ago adequately knows how to make videos like his videos were always like winning tax his videos were always very very good so guys we've come to the end of this session please do like and subscribe and comment please comment tell me about what you think about their interview do you think the identity ship is going to sail what do you think about Ilebaye? do you think she won truth pity vote or do you think she people genuinely love her 
what do you think about the strategy we got asked her about do you think she was playing the strategy in the house i would please love to see your comments and opinion on this below and see you in another video ciao bye